Uh, the resolution we're debating today is about keeping a promise. The authors of the new health care law promised the American people that if they liked their current health insurance, they could keep it. At least 47 separate occasions, President Obama promised, if you like what you've got, you can keep it. Unfortunately, the Obama administration has broken that promise. Earlier this year, the administration published a regulation that will fundamentally change the health insurance plans of millions of Americans. The reality of this new regulation is that if you like what you have, you can't keep it. The new regulation implemented the grandfathered health plan section of the new health care law. It specified how existing health plans could avoid the most onerous new rules and red tape included in the 2,700 pages of the new health care law. This provision was a critical part of the new law. It allowed supporters to argue that current health insurance plans would be exempt from all of the rules and regulations created by the new law. Employers and health plans were told that the grandfather protections would mean if you have coverage on the day the law passed, you could keep that coverage without having to make any major changes. Unfortunately, the regulation writers at the Departments of Treasury, Labor, Health and Human Services broke all those promises. The regulation is crystal clear. Most businesses, the administration estimates, between 39 and 69 percent will not be able to keep the coverage that they have. Under the new regulation, once a business loses grandfather status, they will have to comply with all of the new mandates in the law. This means these businesses will have to change their current plans and purchase more expensive ones that meet all of the new federal minimum requirements. I actually know something about small business. I used to run one. I ran a shoe store in Wyoming. I stocked the shelves. I worked with the customers to fit them with shoes. I ran the cash register. I placed the orders with suppliers. I did the accounting. I swept the sidewalk. I cleaned the toilets. I, I knew what it was like to worry about making payroll at the end of the month. I know firsthand about the struggles and challenges that America's small businesses face. And I understand what this regulation will do to small businesses across the country. Small businesses are struggling every day to find the resources to provide health insurance to their employees. Rather than making it easier for those businesses to continue to provide this coverage, the new regulation will mean that employers will simply drop their health coverage altogether. That's why I'm so concerned about this grandfathered health plan regulation, and that's why I introduced the, the, the resolution that we're debating today. My resolution would force the administration to actually keep their promises. The resolution would overturn this grandfathered health plan regulation and allow tens of thousands of businesses across the country to keep their current plans. If we pass the resolution, millions of Americans will be spared from paying higher health care costs as a result of new federal mandates. If we pass the resolution, small businesses across the country will not have to drop health insurance for their workers. Congress created the Congressional Review Act that we're using today specifically to overturn federal regulations like the one we're discussing today. The sponsors of the Review Act recognize that too often Washington bureaucrats impose sweeping new regulations with little thought the, the, to the impact these changes will have in the real world. In particular, the Review Act was intended to protect small businesses across the country who are often most vulnerable to new government mandates and regulations. That's precisely what happened with the grandfathered health plan regulation. The regulation writers went above and beyond what the law said and came up with a whole slew of requirements that business must comply with if they want to keep what they have. The regulation includes a long list of things that will disqualify businesses from being able to keep what they have. If a business does anything to try to keep costs under control, they lose their grandfathered status. Earlier this year, when the grandfather regulation was first published by the administration, I came to the Senate floor and warned of the negative impact this regulation would have on small businesses. This new regulation appears to ignore the impact it'll have in the real world. It'll drive up costs and reduce the number of people who have insurance. This bill was sold as letting people keep what they have, but the devil's in the details. Do a little digging and it's clear, Americans won't be able to keep what they have. 
The simple truth is, because this new rule will drastically tie the hands of employers, few employers are expected to be able to pursue grandfathered status. The final result of the new regulation will be that all Americans will eventually be forced to buy the kind of health insurance the federal government thinks you should have. Never mind you can't afford it. Never mind that employers will be less likely to hire new workers and probably even lay off workers.